Hello everyone, in this video uh, I'll teach you guys how to derive the output current uh, current gain of a Howland current pump. So let me first start off with the schematic for a, a Howland current pump. This is a very basic current pump design using only four resistors it has a differential input so this is R1, R2, R3 and R4 I'll call this Vx at these uh, terminals and this I'll call Vout and this is your pump output I0 to our load. So what I want to do is I want to derive the re relationship between the in inputs and the output. So let's get started with the KCL. Hopefully you are familiar with using KCL. So yep, I1, I2 here, I3, I4, Okay, so if you have a current flowing this way and there's no current flowing in here, then the other current has to be flowing this way. So you're saying that I1 is equal to I2. That's the first equation. And since the current is flowing from a, a higher potential to a low potential, and since this is Vx, then the current has to be flowing this way also, since this is higher than this right here. But since you have an, another uh, another current going out here you need a current flowing in so you're saying that I3 is equal to I0 plus I4 now we can rewrite this in terms of voltages so you have V minus minus Vx over R1 is equal to Vx minus V out over R2 and then I, for I3 you have V plus minus Vx over R3 equal to I0 plus Vx minus V0 over R4 okay and to make this, things, uh, this thing easier to write we see that these two are the same so let's call Vx minus V out VA. So let A be Vx minus V out. And we can rewrite the equation as A over R2 is equal to V minus minus Vx over R1. And then over here we have A over R4 plus I0 is equal to V plus minus Vx over R3. And let's make another condition. We assume that R2 over R1, this ratio is equal to R4 over R3. If this is the case, then your equation 1 becomes A. Uh, okay, so A goes to R A over R4 is equal to V minus minus Vx over R3 Okay I'm going to change color to green so this is one equation this is the other equation you notice that A over R4 you can substitute that in here and solve for I0 let's do, let's do that so when you substitute in for A over R4 to this second equation you have V minus minus Vx over R3 plus 
I naught is equal to v plus minus vx over r3. So let's solve for I naught. Let me bring this to this side. So now your I naught is equal to v plus minus vx over r3 minus v minus minus vx over r3 and this will cancel out the vx and that will leave you with v plus minus v minus over r3 I not here. So what's our gain? Our gain is 1 over R3 since V plus minus V minus is your input and this is your output so this has to be your gain 1 over R3. Alright and uh, hopefully that will help you out uh, if you have any questions then just post on the comment uh, section below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.